In this episode of Sailing Doodles, we find a couple really great spots to do some snorkeling. Things get a little crazy at Willie T's. And we make it back up to Yos Van Dyke to check out Soggy Dollar Bar. A year ago, I had a stroke and lost my career as a corporate pilot. So I sold everything I own and bought a boat that probably cost less than your car. I packed up my two dogs, talked a good friend into going along, and we set off to sail around the world. Along the way, we've had some great adventures and met some amazing people. We've even picked up a crewmate. So come along with us on this journey and enjoy the ride. These videos are made possible by patrons like you. To find out how you can help, go to sailingdoodles.com. We had just left Georgie on Tortola and we're a little bummed about that. So we decided to sail south to Norman's Island and check out what adventures we can find there. Norman's Island is one of the more popular spots in the BVI. It's always full of boats and there were quite a few mega yachts on this occasion. This is the bite at Norman's Island. It's the most popular anchorage there. The water is pretty deep in almost every place except along the shorelines in a few places. It is possible to anchor there, but most people just pick up mooring balls. Mooring balls cost $30 a night. In the top right corner there, there's a bar called Pirate's Bite. Although they had big signs saying no dogs, so we didn't go there. We heard it's good though. And of course, this is the world infamous Willie T's. It's an old ship that they converted into a bar and restaurant. It can be busy any time of day, but at night is when it really comes alive. So if you want a good night's sleep, don't moor anywhere near it. One of the fun things to do there is to jump off the top deck. There is a sign there that says no jumping, but I'm sure that's just for liability purposes and is strictly ignored. Rumor has it that you're supposed to jump off the deck in the nude, but nobody was playing ball for us with the drone flying around. The Bight and Willie T's at Norman Island are definitely some places in the BVI that you need to check out if you make the trip down. There's also a few really good places to do some snorkeling at Norman's Island. So before we headed over to Willie T's to have a good time, we decided to get some snorkeling in. These are the Indians on the north side of the island. It's a big shelf of a reef that drops straight off on the edges. And it's a really good snorkeling spot. You mean pork? Yeah, let's start with it. Very All right. Got it. Megan's snorkeling skills have really improved a lot, and she's feeling much more confident in the water. There really were a ton of just beautifully colored fish swimming around. While Megan's snorkeling skills may have improved, her getting back in the boat skills uh, might need some improvement. So with our snorkeling complete, it's time to head over to Willie T's to see what kind of fun we could find. At night, there could be 25 or 30 dinghies there. You actually have to walk across them just to get to the dock. It's good. Hey, 
Any last words? Just blame it on me. Although we got the camera system. <laughs> what do we give them? Come on, let's go, honey. Uh, a ten! Uh, a ten! A ten! Now you guys are getting one of them. We got a first diaper over here. Yeah, we got a first diaper over here. Yeah, I'm not my first diaper. Alright, okay. It's not my first diaper. Alright. Here's the last one. Here's the last one. Alright, here you go. Tony, you got a Willie Keys tattoo on your nipple. You're obviously not your first diaper. Alright. Well done. Sorry. <laughs> Would you like me to throw the tape? Would you like me to throw the suit down to you? You're gonna walk up topless. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no <turn. All> right. <laughs> So you can see just how crazy it gets at Willie T's during the daytime. So you can only imagine what it's like at night. I have no idea what's going on here. Eight people in a dinghy with wigs on pulling two girls on a surfboard with horse heads and fox heads. It's all a good time at Willie T. So the next day we decided to move the boat over to the caves, which are also at Norman's Island. It is by far my favorite snorkeling spot yet. There are several different caves cut into the cliff face and you can moor your boat right next to them which makes it really nice to go snorkeling directly off the back of your boat. It's more vivid in person but as you get further back into the caves the rock color changes to a deep purple. It really is just absolutely beautiful. Megan definitely is getting better at her snorkeling skills. A couple of the caves can go back pretty deep. This one was probably 30 or 40 yards, and I'm really glad I brought my waterproof flashlight along, because it got pretty dark back in there. The camera does not do this shot justice. This was absolutely beautiful. I highly recommend snorkeling the caves. We decided to name this guy Iceman since we already have a Maverick and Goose. There were some really nice folks on a charter cat that were leaving and couldn't take them with them. So they gave them to us along with a few other provisions. Thanks a lot guys. After some fun times at Norman's Island, we decided to head back up to Yost Van Dyke since we didn't get to spend much time at Soggy Dollar last time. This is White Bay at Yost Van Dyke. 
We actually anchored over at Great Harbor and dinghied over. White Bay can get pretty crowded and rolly, and it's just a touch too shallow for our deep draft. But you can see it's absolutely beautiful with this white sand beach, and it's definitely a daytime attraction. To the left there is Soggy Dollar Bar, and is always busy during the daytime. You can see it's a great spot to pull up a beach chair and just relax with your favorite cold beverage. If you're looking for a little more fun, you can always go inside the bar where it's definitely a bit more rowdy. One of the great things about cruising is that it's always easy to make new friends. After a nice long fun day, it was time to head back to the boat and regroup for a little bit. Stay tuned next week as we take a look at the full moon party at Trellis Bay. And we find paradise at Virgin Gorda. As always, please click like and subscribe, and we'll be hosting another patron drawing for an invitation to join us on the boat in two weeks. So if you're not a patron and want to get in on that, go to sailingdoodles.com. We also host a live feed on YouTube every Sunday afternoon. So if you want to ask any questions or want for more information, you can log into that. Thanks for watching, guys.